This is a deadly subway. Passengers were unaware that they were heading for death, with the walls suddenly cracking and flooding into the tunnel at a rapid pace. By the time the driver realized that something was wrong, it was too late. The driver rushed to pull the handbrake. The wheels of the car rubbed violently against the track. The wheels instantly wiped out many sparks. Disaster struck too suddenly before the passengers could react. The huge inertia was like a heavy fist hitting them hard. They fell backwards. Thousands of people crushed together. Passengers near the back door were crushed into meat cakes and then pushed out of the window. At this point, the subway was like a runaway fire snake that kept colliding violently with the walls. All the windows were shattered. Hundreds of passengers were also mercilessly thrown out of the car. And then the flood came quickly. Jack could only watch as the car was instantly filled with flood water. He fell into a coma after his eyes went black. When he woke up again, he pushed away the people on top of him with severe pain. The carriage was full of bodies and the sound of women wailing. His daughter, whom he was holding, was reduced to a few scraps of cloth. The passengers who were lucky enough to survive scrambled to get off the train. But there were still passengers who wanted money more than life. They actually started robbing. They robbed the dead man of his Rolex watch, gold necklace and cell phone. The other car was severely deprived of oxygen. Thanks to David kicked the window and looked outside the car. The water in the tunnel was about to overflow the tracks. A broken cable squeaked not far away. But the passengers, who were scrambling for their lives, didn't know. They just ran frantically to the next station. Some people fell down accidentally. Others pushed and shoved each other. But no one noticed that the tracks under their feet were about to be short-circuited and electrocuted. What's worse is that the subway mobilization found the fault and did not immediately pull the switch to cut off the power. But the driver who came from behind was very experienced. When he saw the water over the tracks immediately realized that something was wrong. He rushed to drive in the opposite direction. Train 17 was about to return safely to the departure station. And the subway dispatcher simply thought that everything would be fine. But in reality, this action is a death sentence for the countless passengers who are running for their lives in the water. 10,000 volts of high voltage electricity runs much faster than people. Thousands of bodies floating in the tunnel. Only a few parts of the passengers who ran fast were lucky to get back alive. They are undoubtedly lucky. But the problem is, those passengers who are still trapped in the car today, how are they going to escape from this deadly subway? The bodies of the passengers were stacked on top of each other in the car. Only Ben and Lisa survived. They were planning to escape along the track when the car suddenly tilted. Fortunately, Lisa is small in stature. She was able to climb back onto the subway. The stronger Ben was not so lucky. No matter how hard he tried, his thighs were stuck in place and he couldn't move them. The carriage tilted further and further. After their repeated attempts to pull out failed. Desperate. Ben didn't want Lisa to be buried with him. So he told her to go ahead and lied that he would come later. But Lisa was determined to stay with him. They had met for the first time, but had become attached by the disaster. At that moment, the platform at the next subway stop was crowded with people. The man was in a hurry to get to work. So he angrily questioned the staff on duty. Why is the subway not here yet? Many passengers were stumbling in the rail tunnel. After hearing that there was a major accident ahead, passengers immediately fled. They were frantically running out of the tunnel. Some people fell and got trampled. Some broke their feet running too fast. But the rest of the passengers were still running around regardless to prevent the trampling and other dangers from spreading. The authorities immediately sent the army to blockade the subway station. They sent rescue workers into the subway to search for survivors. After determining that no one was inside, they poured liquid nitrogen into the tunnel to prevent it from completely collapsing. At this point, there were only seven people and one dog left in the tunnel. Suddenly several of them looked terrified. A flood of water was coming from behind them. Luckily, the wave was not too big. They escaped without any danger. She happily took out pies for everyone to eat. Unexpectedly, the cute dog grabbed the cake and scampered to a hole. They were laughing at the sight. Suddenly a loud water noise came from behind. They saw the runaway carriage was like a beast pushing the huge waves towards the people. In the nick of time, several people ducked into the hole. But Sam did not have time to hide inside. They could only watch Sam disappear under the wheels. The six people who survived found a vent in the cave. But it was 100 meters above the ground. 
This distance means that there is no cell phone signal. The only way they could have a chance was to open the protective net. However, several people did not know that the subway blocked the tunnel entrance. River water began to rise, but the quality of the screws is too good. They cannot break the vent. In order to survive, three men of more than 200 pounds is also desperate. The protective net finally fell off, but before they could get up there, Lisa's asthma attacked again, and she lost her medicine. But by now the water level was more than halfway up. If you want to get the medicine back, you have to risk your life diving back, but for the sake of the girl he loved. Ben dove into the water without a second thought. Soon Ben succeeded in finding the medicine at the other end, but he was suddenly frightened by the emergence of the body and threw away the flashlight. Without a light source, Ben was completely lost underwater and felt like he was about to suffocate. Lisa found something wrong and immediately used a lighter to ignite a can of gas, but the fire lasted only a few seconds. There was still no movement under the water. Lisa couldn't breathe and collapsed to the ground in despair. She was about to lose her breath. Is her beloved man really not coming back? Ben hurriedly took out the medicine and handed it to Lisa. Soon the flood water was over their neck. Several people were floating around a bucket of water. They took out their cell phones again. Finally there was a signal. Jack rushed to dial his wife's phone. But because of the noise around them, his wife only vaguely heard the shaft. His phone fell into the water. In a short time, the flood water had reached the mouth of the sewer. In order to attract the attention of passers-by, they kept pouring water out. But a driver who was driving with his makeup did not see it. They handed out leaves and were crushed by the passing wheels. On the other side, the flooding broke through the carriage blocking the road. The water level in the shaft dropped instantly. When his wife came to the rescue, she found no one inside the shaft. They did not know that several people were washed into the tunnel again. They were collapsing on the platform in despair, waiting to die. But then a light shone through. It was another group of rescuers who arrived. Only those who have gone through despair can truly understand what it means to have a new life. The fire axe striking the manhole cover was finally seen. After this disaster, Ben and Lisa gained their undying love. And Jack and his wife whose marriage had come to an end, also realized the importance of family. After watching Metro, I feel very sad. In the face of nature, human beings are so small, but people can help each other to rescue each other in front of the disaster. All the things that happen in critical moments make everyone have mixed emotions. You can subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time.